Hey you, this is Jasim from CodeBand and in this video, we are going to be fixing the very on issue that we were facing since the last two videos, that is fixing the QR code scanning issue. So the kind of issue we were facing was like uh, every time we run the script, we need to scan the QR code and make the connection so that we can log into the WhatsApp web. So that's what we will be fixing uh, in this video. So uh, if you uh, didn't watch those uh, previous two videos, I highly recommend you to watch that because that's what is the base of this video. It's just a continuation here. So uh, if you didn't watch those things, it would not be that good uh, with, with the code base here because the code I'll be using as a starter is borrowed from those videos. So the link will be the links will be in the description section. So please watch those things and um, come back in here and yeah with that being said if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon near to it so without any further let's jump right into it all right guys so we are back into the vs code and we have the code that we were uh, seen uh, in the last video so um, uh, before we actually move into the solution of the QR code issue I would like to remind you something what is exactly happening when we actually run a script so in normal cases that is uh, uh, just forget about the automation in normal cases uh, if we are using WhatsApp web then we only need to scan that QR code only once right uh, for every next time the browser will automatically log you in that's the general case right uh, but in case of the script what it is doing is um, uh, I mean uh, I just forgot to mention that if you just log out of all devices in your phone then you might have to uh, rescan that QR code but uh, except for those cases you only need to scan your co QR code once now the the thing uh, happens there is uh, when when you actually log in the first time when you actually scan that QR code first time the browser saves that uh, that credential or, or that sort of um, uh, authentication made by you in in the uh, browser profile so then the next time you uh, hits that uh, web.whatsapp.com the browser will automatically fetch that uh, authentication data and it will just uh, logs you in without the QR code being scanned that's the idea that that's the thing that, that's happening uh, on a regular um, uh, browser based session so in our case in our script in our automated script they, they what happens is completely different so every time we run the script what happens is that a new browser session is being given to us it does not know the previous thing whether we logged in before or not it does not know any of our data any of history cache nothing it doesn't know any stuff it is it is giving purely uh, i mean a pure uh, session each time when we are on the script so uh, the first time we are, we are running the script we are scan a qr code and that's only valid in that particular session once we quit out of that browser and then we restart uh, the uh, script again a new session is there and that new session don't know those previous um, login details and stuff like that so that's why we need to scan the QR code again and again so this is the idea behind uh, why you should scan uh, why we might end up in scanning that QR code so how we are going to be fixing is fixing it is very simple uh, we'll uh, make a separate folder and um, what we'll do is when the first time we uh, scan the QR code then we'll store all those details into that profile I mean into that folder folder is just uh, holding that Chrome profile so we'll save all those details into that folder and then the next time we run the script we tell that we tell the browser that don't start as a fresh new uh, session but instead uh, look into that folder take that folder and just uh, grab all those details there and then start the browser okay so uh, it'll just uh, take that uh, uh, folder the things that are available in the folder the profile and it'll uh, uh, it'll have it will keep hold on that uh, folder instead of creating a new profile a new session a new browser session every time so that's what the idea is so um, this is all the, the theory the in the practical it's just 
uh, two lines, uh, two or four lines of code. It's very simple. So what I have created here is something called a config.py file, as you can see here. And now I have kept some of the things here over here. Now you can find this um, the um, uh, repository in GitHub, so they can. I'm just copy and paste this one here. Now, uh, this is um, uh, like uh, different to different platforms, Windows, Mac, or Linux. So um, uh, the, the uh, link uh, to the repository will be in the description section. Again, just go to the uh, six uh, words of automation, no QR code branch, and you'll find this config.py. Now, what you can possibly do is I'll create a new um, uh, uh, variable name, Chrome Profile Path just like that Chrome profile path and which is equal to what I can possibly do is uh, in, in a double quotes uh, just say like j just send what I'm uh, doing here because um, this is at the end I'll, I'll explain what it is at the end so user data there is equal to and then this one okay this this location so it's specific to Windows Mac and Linux so if you're if you were a Windows user then just copy this stuff here and space that in here. <clears throat> now there is a problem here because uh, you might need to uh, add a double slash here because uh, the single black backslash is an escape character so uh, uh, it will not be valid unless you add a double slash. So uh, uh, just add double slash wherever you find a single slash alone. And at the end, okay, you need to just fill in all, all these things with slash. And at the end, instead of the default one, now the default is nothing but the default uh, profile path, Chrome profile path, which means um, the default browser that you open um, in, in all cases, uh, it will have all those browser session, cache and everything in the default. But what we will do is we'll create a new session and we'll we might end up calling it as WhatsApp WTSP. That's the name is up to you. You can call whatever it is. So this is nothing but the folder that I have mentioned before uh, that where we'll be storing the uh, data, the uh, the session, the login details and stuff like that at the end. And we'll be using, we'll be reusing this folder, this profile in every uh, uh, in every time we run the script. We'll reuse this one instead of creating a fresh new one. So that's the idea. So just create uh, some name, a random name, WhatsApp or similar, and uh, don't forget to give that backslash in every every single place where you find a single backslash. So this is a case of, case of Windows user. I mean, the path is different for Linux or Mac OS. So I'll get rid of this path here. The first path remains the same. User data there is equal to, and then uh, since I'm using Mac device, Mac OS device. I need to copy this one here. I'll just quickly paste that in there. And instead of this username, so remember there is also username here. So you might need to uh, replace that with your username. So in my case, it's AK Jasim, just like that. And in here, instead of the default again, um, you, you need to say like WhatsApp or something, some names. And also in here, you don't have to escape that because this is forward slash. The, uh, the Windows case was backward. That's why we need to escape it. So with that being said, uh, just save that file and I'll quickly import that um, profile path here in the main.py. So from um, config uh, import uh, Chrome profile path, just like that. Now the steps are very simple, just three lines of code, I believe. So what you end up doing is uh, I'll do it uh, before we start the browser uh, stuff. So here. And what you can do is we can just say like options is equal to webdriver.chrome options, just like that instantiate the Chrome options class here. And then what you can possibly say is options dot add argument. Uh, and it, it is actually a, a method. So options dot add argument. And now we need to add this argument, this stuff, Chrome profile path. Now that's what we have imported here, Chrome profile path. So I'll just uh, say like Chrome profile path just like that and now uh, two lines of code now the last line is uh, we have already returned that this line here now uh, we are in, in the time of initializing or instantiating the Chrome here we also need to pass in uh, another argument and we call it as options is equal to this options here just like that so 
options is equal to options just like that and this will do the trick now what this does is um, uh, at the first time when it runs this uh, add argument um, th there will not be a directory named WTSP so it will actually create a new session uh, in this folder WTSP and then we, we just log in with that scan that QR code and stuff like that so all those information will be saved in this WTSP directory and the next time we run the script it will automatically use the same Chrome profile path but this time this folder exists so it will take those information directly from this folder and uh, we don't want to scan that QR code again and that's what is the logic is now so we'll just quickly test this out if everything will work fine as expected so python3 main.py and our group name is groups.txt and then uh, we have that image path uh, let's uh, don't pass an image because we we, we actually don't want to test that functionality but instead um, we have to test this qr code stuff so if, if i run the code code here lock on that chrome browser it goes to web.whatsapp.com so the first time you need to scan so i'll quickly scan this one and then uh, let me quickly scan this one for the very first time very first and last time so yeah i have scanned this now um, you can see that uh, your group names here and stuff like that you can see here uh, now this is coming from from that um, uh, groups.txt which I have renamed I mean I have changed the content so we don't need to bother about those steps but instead now where we are we are we want to concentrate is I'll quit out of this browser here and then I'll just run the code again so that we can see we don't want to uh, uh, give that QR code again it is automatically logs you in and what do you know you, you, you didn't uh, scan those, those QR code, it will automatically log you in. So this is true in all cases, uh, in all scenarios. I mean, if you run the script in any time, it, is, uh, it will not do any, um, any magic. It is nothing but uh, it is taking uh, that stuff. I mean, there is some errors here. That's because maybe um, multiple uh, browsers um, using the same session. That's why. So uh, I have just quitted that stuff there. I'll quickly run this again and it opens web.whatsapp.com and what do you know it just um, gives me uh, access without scanning the QR code so that's how we get rid of this QR code stuff I hope you enjoy this video and um, please let me know your suggestions or uh, comments or any errors or doubts you face in the uh, comments uh, section below and if you like this video please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and share to your circle as well and uh, if you are uh, new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon near to it so thank you for watching we'll see you in the very next one